Brainy Dose presents How to Know Yourself Six Ways to Know Who You Are Self-knowledge is like a compass that guides you through life. But have you ever thought about how well you know yourself? While we may all agree that knowing ourselves is important, a lot of people haven't had the time or resources to really explore who they are and what they truly want. But this understanding is crucial, not just for our personal happiness and fulfillment, but also for understanding others and forming genuine connections. I mean, if you don't have a clear idea of who you are yourself, how are others supposed to get to know you, right? So here are six areas you should examine on your journey of getting to know yourself. Number one, your values. Our values determine what we stand for. They represent our unique individual essence and serve as a personal code of conduct, guiding our actions. So think about the things you value the most. Beyond your fundamental human needs, what do you need in life to experience fulfillment? Is it creative self-expression? A sense of responsibility? Maybe it's a strong level of health and vitality, or being independent. Perhaps you value continuous learning. Knowing your values can help you stay motivated, even when the going gets tough. And it can also help you make swift decisions about what to do and what not to do. Number two your interests. What are the things that you pay attention to the most? What piques your curiosity? What are your hobbies? Everything that naturally captures your attention, draws you in, and inspires you to accomplish or learn something can be considered your interests. And that focused mental state of being interested in something not only adds color to your life, but also gives important clues about what your true self actually desires. For instance, if you're interested in comforting and helping others, it may indicate a yearning for connection and a sense of contribution. If you're a fan of extreme sports, it could mean a thirst for adventure and pushing the limits of what's possible. Of course, those feelings you get from doing things you enjoy can be found in various activities and experiences, and this provides you more flexibility and options, making it easier for you to find happiness. Number three, temperament. This is about your nature, character, and what influences your behavior. Are you more introverted or extroverted? Are you a planner or do you prefer spontaneity? Is it easier for you to follow instructions or forge your own path? Do you delve into details or focus on the big picture? All of these things can assist you in making decisions and taking actions that are in line with your true self, rather than forcing yourself to do something that doesn't come naturally to you. Knowing your preferences can help you choose the environment, profession, relationships, and situations where you have the best chance of succeeding. Number four, around the clock activities. Are you an early bird or a night owl? You may think that whether you're a day person or a night person is not that important, but it actually is. This is because your efficiency and performance are greatly affected by your peak energy times. This can make a big difference in the type of work you choose, when you plan activities that need energy and attention, and when you should just relax because your productivity will be low regardless. Sure, there may be instances when you have to do something that isn't in sync with your natural biorhythm, but in general, it is far better for your level of productivity and your overall well-being if having to force yourself is the exception and not the rule. Number five, life mission and meaningful goals. Many people wonder what the meaning of life is, but have you ever thought about what gives your life meaning? To find the answer, it can be helpful to reflect on the most significant events in your life. They reveal a lot about what you actually care about and how you should spend the majority of your time in order to live a meaningful life. Finding the meaning of your existence and why you do what you do can have a huge impact on your happiness, health, and productivity. Number six, strengths. We all have strengths and weaknesses, but spending too much time trying to fix your weaknesses only leads to frustration plummeting self-esteem, and a lifetime of struggle, believing you will never be good enough. Focusing on your strengths is the true path to excellence and fulfillment. While these abilities and talents may have more outward manifestations, they are fundamentally how our brains are wired to think. Some people are creative and constantly formulating new ideas, while others are more analytical or empathetic. You get the point. Finding your unique set of strengths and the best way to put them to use is essential to living a happy and successful life, aligned with your true self. Now, this doesn't mean that you should just ignore your weaknesses. Instead, find ways to mitigate them and surround yourself with others who have abilities that can complement yours. 
Hopefully, these six aspects of self-knowledge can help you in your quest to better understand your own identity. Some of these characteristics you may already be aware of, while others you may discover hidden within your everyday attitude, energy, activities, and tendencies. Getting to know yourself can be challenging. It requires effort and courage, but it is highly rewarding. After all, in order to be yourself, you must know yourself. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.